has come a long way since the 70s, when stars like Joan Rivers and Phyllis Diller underwent less sophisticated forms of plastic surgery. When Phyllis Diller and Joan Rivers started doing plastic surgery, I think what they ended up looking like is so dramatic. Unfortunately, back in the day, plastic surgery, for a facelift in particular, used to involve just a long incision and literally pulling all the skin of the face back. Old plastic surgery really has this sort of pinched look, this pulled look, this surprised look. It made people look very unnatural, like think about Melanie Griffith, Cher. Their entire faces kind of changed when they got work done. Now, major advances in cosmetic surgery offer an entirely new set of options for de-aging the face. What we're doing now as plastic surgeons is tightening up of the skin, like with a facelift, and addition of volume or softness to the face with either fat or some of the injectable fillers nowadays. Injectable fillers, which were originally used to combat facial wasting in AIDS patients, have made waves recently. New York Magazine wrote this cover story about the new, new face. And the new, new face is that it plumps up the skin. So rather than being pulled, the surgeon then plumps it. When we're young, our cheekbone begins by our eye. And we have this inverted triangle where we have the fullness in the top of the face and it comes down. As we age, well, the triangle becomes upright and we get a lot of fullness in the lower face and our cheek starts falling. So it's like a cushion. It loses its padding, so we have to restuff the cushion in the proper places and restuff the face. But stuffing your face doesn't come cheap. The new new face, if you got a facelift with fillers around anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. We're talking about multi-millionaires here. So for them, looking good and looking young is their business. That's their livelihood. It doesn't matter if it's gonna cost a million dollars, it's worth it. Another innovation gaining popularity in the pursuit of youth, stem cell facelifts. So the stem cell facelift is basically they take fat cells from your abdomen and they extract the stem cells out of them and then they inject them into your face. And apparently it gets rid of the wrinkles and looks amazing. Stem cells are like repairman cells. Fat stem cells can actually grow and produce new fat or just cause rejuvenation of areas where we've lost volume. At least you're using your own business, right, in your face. You're not sticking some kind of manufactured, man-made product into your face. That's, you know, plastic surgery going in the right direction. Then there's the much-talked-about new technique known as Dracula therapy. Dracula therapy is a procedure where your blood is removed, it's enriched with vitamins and amino acids, and then it's injected into your face. This can cause facial rejuvenation, help with wrinkles and skin quality. That's not all people are buzzing about. Lasers are a growing weapon in the plastic surgery arsenal. Thanks to laser technology, we're now seeing innovations in non-invasive fat reduction, as well as skin resurfacing and genital rejuvenation. The future of lasers is great. There are fat melting lasers. There are lasers we use to resurface the skin to get rid of age spots. There are even lasers we use underneath the skin in combination with liposuction, and that's smart lipo. With more effective technologies, it's easier for celebs to be secretive about their surgeries. But the big giveaway is when a celeb doesn't seem to age at all. 